I just bought one of these electric plug-inable uh, coolers, an e-glue 28 quart. And I just plugged it into my new River Max EcoFlow Pro uh, adventure battery, I like to call it, to see what's going on with this. And it was at full charge, 100%. And which charges like an hour and a half, which is amazing for this brand. And it's going to give me 11 hours with this going. I think it's going to give more because it says that it, in the instructions that it actually uh, um, shuts down when it gets to a certain temperature. Ooh, I should take that off. Um, it's brand new, as you can see. And um, you can feel the cold. And it gets down there. And it's just a plug-in so I can have both of these things going on, say, you're on a, a road trip for the weekend. Now the next test is, I just got a solar panel and we'll see how this charges, maybe even during it and what, what'll happen sort of thing. And by the way, you can buy um, add-ons for this, which I'll put in the links below, um, that you can buy a second battery and give you like 1400 plus watts. Right now this is about 750 and you get all these charges. This thing's amazing. I'll do some more reviews on it. Oh, and Amazon's on for $161. But if you can see that, the second item there, the middle one, the smaller, it's on for 141 at Canadian Tire right now. I would definitely consider this. Having um, a cooler that is actually charged, even when you're plugged in to your car lighter when you're on a trip, saves you time for things going um, bad. So you have cold stuff, which that's what it's all about. It's 12.30 uh, Wednesday afternoon. Let's see how long this actually goes for. Oh, and since I got in so much trouble from doing a uh, temperature based video in the past. I'm going to now show you that in my house it is almost 19 degrees Celsius. Okay, and this is going towards, you know, um, 68, 67 uh, Fahrenheit. But let's um, uh, see what it is after three hours in here. So it's been two and a half hours. And uh, let's check the temperature because this says that you should check it in the cooler for maximum cooling, put the food in only after three hours, but it's about two and a half. Um, it's used about that time here. And um, let's go in to see what it's like. Whoa. <laughs> it's a little tough, a little heavy. Let's see, what, what does it say? Ooh, it is cold down here at the bottom. Let's see now what is the temperature. So it is zero. Maybe just one degree above, like it says, or maybe even two at that line. That basically confirms that this works. And wow, it is really chilly down here, which is fantastic after two and a half hours. And see, there's the plug and whatnot. But yeah, just we'll go over the safeguards here. There's nothing too complicated and stuff, but it does read that don't put warm food in there because it takes longer to warm up. You put the cold stuff in so that it doesn't have to use, you know, the, the cooling to warm it up and or cool and make it cold. And uh, that's the best process. Put cold food into a cold cooler. Don't put warm food into a cold cooler. So everything's seeming excellent. I'm just going to let it go and see how long it actually takes to actually drain fully. Well, it's definitely going for the uh, 10 hour mark. 10.30 p.m. It is nighttime out. That's uh, to prove that it's night. And um, and it's still got eight. This this has been hanging on eight minutes for like 30 minutes. This last bit of charge goes a long time. And I'm, I'm wondering if it's going to cross the 10 hour mark and get, to, you know, more out of Bam, it. Bam, the final's in. It hung on 8% for like almost an hour. It's 10.39. So from 12.30 to 10.30, 100%. I just went to push the button and it just went, it went like, what the? 99 hours? That's not true. <laughs> Imagine, oh yeah, it's 1%. So um, it's just that it just went flat line and the fan just went. So it officially can do 10 hours and um, I'm not gonna open this uh, so that we can check the temperature gauge here. I'll do it quick just to prove to you that it's still, you know, uh, zero and um, cool in there. Um, I think the next test is, let's see how fast the temperature drops inside it now. Um, the other thing I would recommend with this is that, uh, you know, you can turn it on and then turn it off, you know, on increments to keep the things in there cold. And this could last you for two days versus just 10 straight hours. I mean, you're going to have it plugged in the vehicle, you know, and uh, traveling from and to, and you're also going to have it in at certain other times. Um, the next test I'm going to do is with the EcoFlow solar panel, 160 watt, 
plugged into this while I do this to see how long it can go. I mean, I'm very impressed with this um, uh, power. I call it the adventure battery. And um, this uh, EcoFlow River uh, Max uh, Pro um, is fantastic with this Eagle um, Iceless 28 quart system. It really went a long time all day today. And it is dark, you can see that outside here in Ontario, Canada. Um, yeah, so I totally recommend it with the coolers and stuff like that. But again, play around with it and see what you can do with making it last longer. And I'll do a temperature test in a little bit longer to see um, how long this thing keeps the uh, zero degrees with um, opening the top. That is the premise of coolers, right? Okay, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And otherwise, I will see you in another video. Okay.